about some beer. Yeah, boys, right. All right, guys, pipe down. I got some more in the garage. Oh, I'll, I'll get it for you, Homer. Hmm. I wonder why he's so eager to go to the garage. The garage? Hey, fellas, the garage. Well, ooh la dee da, Mr. Frenchman. Well, what do you call it? A car hole. You're late, Herman. Surely you don't mind waiting for merchandise of this quality, Mr. Jericho? Huh? Huh. Looks like good stuff, but of course, I'll have to sample it first. Well, these are fabulous. Yeah, who would suspect that they're counterfeit jeans? And what better place to make the buy than in a cop's garage where no one would suspect a thing? <laughs> 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 Herman, I had to come out here to see what's so funny. <gasps> a counterfeit jeans ring operating out of my car hole. I'm going to tell everyone. Wait here. Not so fast. Okay. Maybe you should just stop entirely. Herman, how could you? We've all thought about counterfeiting jeans at one time or another. But what about the victims? Hard-working designers like Calvin Klein, Gloria Vanderbilt, or Antoine Bugleboy. These are the people who saw an overcrowded marketplace and said, me too. Advance on him, man. I don't think that's a very good idea. Oh, no. It's Gloria Vanderbilt out for revenge. No. It's Officer Simpson of the police. Herman, your beef is with me! Leave the girl out of this! Okay. <gasps> Homer! It's too late for me, Marts! Sell the jeans and live like a queen! 